This video is on the order of operations, the order that we do math. The order is we do parentheses first, what's inside the parentheses, exponents or powers next, multiply and divide, we do from left to right, and then all the add and subtract, we also do from left to right. There was a saying that your teachers used to tell you in high school, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally or PEMDAS. That was just a way of remembering parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, and subtract. So here's the first problem. Let's try to use this method. Parentheses first. There's nothing inside this parentheses to do. There's a 2 in there, but there's no work to be done in there. So we skip the parentheses step. Next, exponents. Exponents are powers. There are no powers in this problem, so we skip that. Next is multiply and divide. You have to do both at the same time. Multiply and divide. You can't really do both at the same time, so we have to do them from left to right. As though we're reading a book, you have to do the first multiply or divide you come across. 8 divided by 4. This is the first multiply or divide that I do come across. 8 divided by 4 is 2. And then I'm going to bring everything else down that I didn't use. I didn't use this parentheses 2. So the last thing left is still multiply and divide from left to right. This is 2 times 2. And 2 times 2 is 4. OK, the second problem we have here. Step 1, do what's inside the parentheses. There's nothing inside this parentheses to do. There's nothing inside the parentheses with the 2 to do. It's just sitting there. So we're going to look for any powers. There are no powers here to do. So we're going to do next, multiply and divide. We don't do multiply first. We don't do divide first. We have to do these from left to right. We read a book, and the first multiply or divide we come across, that's what we're going to do. 2 times 6. This is the first multiply or divide I come across. 2 times 6 is 12. Next, I'm going to bring everything down. I did that. I'm going to bring my divide by 3 and my parentheses 2. Okay, so I'm still on multiply and divide. Uh, you never finish until you do all of the multiply and divide, so I'm going to do them from left to right. As I'm reading a book from left to right, 12 divided by 3 is the next multiply or divide I see. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Only thing I haven't used up is this parentheses 2, so I'm going to bring that down. And so what we're left with is 4 times 2, and that equals 8. I have two more examples for us to do. They're a little bit more difficult. Let's see how we do on them. Okay, so the first thing we look for is parentheses. Look for anything inside the parentheses to do. Hey, we finally have something in the parentheses to do. 4 minus 2 is 2. I'm going to bring everything else down. This power 3 sitting up here. There's a 3 in front plus 4 and the 3. Okay, we did what's inside the parentheses. Next, please excuse, excuse exponents next. So we're looking for any exponents. 2 to the third power is an exponent. 2 to the third power really means 2 times 2 times 2. So 2 to the third power really means take a 2, times it by 2, times it by 2. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. I'm going to bring down the 4 and the 3. I also have a 3 sitting here in front that I did not use. Now, this is not 38. You have to realize that there is an invisible multiplication sign right here. So this invisible multiplication sign also has to come down. There is a multiplication sign that should be right there. So I did exponents. 
Please excuse my dear. Now I'm doing multiply and divide from left to right. Here's a multiply, and between the 4 and the 3 is a multiply. So we do the first multiply we see from left to right. 3 times 8 is 24. And I'm going to bring everything else down. My plus and my 4 and my 3. I'm still doing multiply and divide from left to right. Here's the next multiplier divide I see. 4 times 3. You do not do 24 plus 4 yet. You have to do all the multiply and divide first. 4 times 3 is 12. I bring down my plus and my 24. Oh, finally, 24 plus 12. My answer is 36. Okay, the last problem. Step one, do what's inside the parentheses. I have a parentheses and there's something in it. Three plus three is six. I'm gonna leave the parentheses around the six. There's a minus six after it. And there's a four in front of this parentheses. And I'm gonna bring everything else down. So we did what's inside the parentheses, 3 plus 3. Next, we're going to do powers, exponents. 8 to the second power, 8 times 8. 8 to the second power right here, 8 times 8 is 64. I'm going to bring everything else down. Next, we're going to do multiply and divide from left to right. I'm looking for the first multiply or divide I see, and it's right here. 4 times 6 is 24. Once I do that, I'm going to bring everything else down. And if you notice, the only thing I have left is subtraction and add and subtraction. Add or subtract. You have to do add and subtract from left to right also. So, add and subtract from left to right. 64 minus 2 is 62. The next add or subtract as I'm moving from left to right again. 62 plus 24 is 86. Bringing everything down. And finally, our problem is 86 minus 6, which is 80. This concludes how to use the order of operations to do our math. Remember, the order of operations are, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, parentheses, exponents, multiply and divide from left to right, and add and subtract from rest left to right. Thank you for watching this video.